hello everyone I hope that uh, you have a great day today uh, in this video I'm going to show you okay, how to uh, write a simple program uh, to get uh, the uh, input data okay, uh, from uh, uh, the user okay. in this case will be uh, the keyboard okay yeah all right so let me get started okay so I'm going to click file new and then project and then okay it will be a C++ language okay, uh, console application okay and then let me just give the name maybe something like get data and then click ok and click next and then empty project finish and then we go to project and then add new item okay and then I will use the default default uh, source code file name okay and then click add and again to save you time okay uh, I have uh, some uh, simple, extremely simple code written already. Okay, I call it the skeleton code. And then to increase the font size, okay, you can just press the control key and then uh, roll forward uh, the rotor on your mouse button. All right, okay, so I think this should be good. And then before I write uh, any single line of code, okay, so let me just okay, uh, test my program okay, first to make sure everything uh, works fine. All right, so far so good. And here is the idea. Okay, here is the idea. Okay, so okay, uh, here will be the idea. Okay, I'm going to write a program. Okay, we'll get the width and length. Okay, uh, uh, data. Okay, from uh, the uh, user. And then I'm going to compute the result. Okay, and I'm going to display the, uh, the value of the area. Okay, uh, over the uh, uh, computer's uh, monitor. Okay, or user's monitor. All right. Okay, so over here you can see I will need about three variables. Okay, with length and the area. So let me clear three variables. Okay, double. Okay, width, and then length, and then area. And then I'm going to display the problem sign. Okay, please. Okay, I enter uh, the width. Okay, and then I might try something like this. Okay, say. Uh, how about try 3.5 okay so user will know okay what value okay they can try and then I'm going to use the C in to store the value okay uh, to the variable width okay and then again okay for me okay I like to uh, make sure that indeed the value okay will be able to retrieve okay, from it okay, uh, the keyboard okay by my program okay so okay let me again I'm not typing maybe you know 10 15 lines of code and then try to run a program if you have problem you have no idea okay uh, which one is the troublemaker okay so uh, this will be a simple one but easily uh, you can find a bug okay, if there is one okay so all right okay so enter the width let me try 4.5 so far so good okay so my okay, uh, uh, program will be able to retrieve 4.5 stored into the variable here with and then how do I know okay, the value has been have been uh, stored into the variable so that's why I write one additional C, C out okay, to make sure that the value indeed got stored into my variable okay. and then from here I know that I don't need it okay, I don't need this one okay, this is just for my personal okay, uh, testing purpose then I can copy and paste okay, and then uh, post the new code okay, uh, uh, below my current one okay. And then this time I'm going to say, hey, please get enter the width, all right? Sorry, length. And maybe try something like 2.0. Okay, to remind the user, okay, what to do. And then type in length, okay, I can just select the uh, uh, variable name and press my tab key, okay. And then now I don't need to write another CR because I know that my program works just fine. But feel free to do so, okay, if you are not so sure about it. And then area will be equal to, okay, width, okay, yeah, times length, okay, yeah. Okay, all right. And then I'm going to display the readout, okay, area is, okay, maybe put a space there and then put area there. All right, now it's time to uh, check out okay, to test my program, and I'm not going to do anything fancy. Okay, so I will just try three and then 
two, I know the result will be six because all those small values okay, allow me to uh, compute the result okay, in my mind okay, first. All right, and then now I can try maybe a little bit complicated one. Okay, so I can try something like maybe uh, uh, 4.5 and then okay, 5.5. Okay. And then, yeah, if you are not so sure about the result, feel free to take out your calculator okay, uh, to uh, verify the result. But I'm pretty sure that okay, it is correct. All right, okay, let me stop over here. Okay, I hope that uh, this video uh, will be uh, useful to you. Okay, and then uh, you can use the same logic okay, uh, to change it to maybe uh, write a program okay, to calculate uh, the mile, okay, uh, the, the mileage okay, per hour, okay, a car. Uh, is uh, can travel okay so you can just change the prompt sign to maybe something like please enter the miles and then next prompt sign change to maybe please enter the uh, gallon okay, uh, the number of uh, gallons used and then uh, you can just uh, change this okay, uh, uh, value okay, to something like uh, mpg mile per gallon okay and it will be equal to all right the miles get okay, divided by uh, the number of gallons used okay all right okay so let me stop over here have fun okay and uh, uh have a good day too